The video I'd recorded in science class looped on my computer screen. Mom and Dad were at some reception on campus and wouldn't be home until late. I'd made coffee and a bowl of Frosted Flakes. Breakfast for dinner, and them not hassling me about my lack of plans. Tonight was a win. But this video? Solid fail. It was all there on the screen. Clara's pinched eagerness, Rory's flying hair, Milverton ignoring the girls in a way that was blatant and deliberate. At least to me. Rory wasn't big on volunteering, but she didn't bother in science. Gemma's hand never made it past the halfway point, like it wasn't worth the effort to fully extend it, while Eleanor, Kat, and Mira were completely checked out. Clara looked like a desperate contestant on a game show. Clara said she didn't want my help, but which was worse, being a lazy white dude who stood by while Milverton got his patriarchy on, or trying to play hero when Clara told me to butt out? I needed to send it to Phil and Susie for their takes. They were my best friends back in Ohio and had always been good sources of advice when I wanted to vent about social injustices or my celebrity crushes. Not that any actor or actress had ever inspired the level of ridiculous fixation I felt about the guy whose iLive profile I had open in another tab. I couldn't see much, just the few profile pics Wynne had made public. I'd sent him a friend request the night we'd met on Rory's driveway. She'd called it a meet-cute. I called it a meet-dead-end. Because I hadn't seen him again, and he hadn't accepted me as a friend. So really, me scrolling his page was pathetic and creepy.